Hello everyone. If you are able to please pray for me because <laughs> like things how can I say this? It seems like some things that should not happen, I guess some of them happen. And I think that is very, very, very like, what is really going on? What is really going on? Anyways, so please pray for me. Like, some people may believe when you began living for Jesus Christ, your life is going to be stress-free and I am here to tell you that is not true, at least for me and for some people I know. I believe as you elevate in Jesus Christ, as in maturity-wise, in a sense, I believe the more trouble you are going to encounter. Like for me, with some things back to back stuff. Am I perfect? Of course not. Do I sin all day, every day? No. I believe I am growing in Jesus Christ. I believe I am improving. And as it seems, the more I improve, the more I encounter. <laughs> so I am growing. <laughs> but as it seems, as I grow, my encounters of problems grow as well. That is funny. I guess. Anyways, I am here to tell you when you began living for Jesus Christ from my understanding you are not going to be sinless without sin. Now, you may be able to improve. You may be able to get better in your behavior. But I don't believe you are going to be sin free. If you look in the book of. If you read the Apostle Paul's teachings. I believe that man was a great man of God. But even with him, he had problems with sin. Now, how many of us are better or as good as the Apostle Paul? I don't think not too many of us. Even when it came down to Moses, I believe he had problems with sin as well. So if great men of God had problems or have problems with sin, what about us? What about the average people or the below average? So what about us? Aren't we going to do wrong as well? Am I telling you to revel or what word can I use? Am I telling you to be pleased with doing what is wrong? Of course not. Am I telling you to be cool with sinning? No. Aren't we commanded to be perfect? So perfection is the end goal, right? So we should be working toward what? Perfection. We may never arrive there in this life, 
but we should be working toward the end goal. How many people who were living for Jesus Christ on this earth died being perfect in him? I don't think anyone. Listen now, please listen, because sometimes I have some people contact me telling me that they sin here and sin there and they can't stop sinning and they should probably, some people may say to me, they should probably give up and all this stuff here. No. No. You will, from my understanding, you will always sin. Even if you try so hard to not do what is wrong, I believe you are going to do what is wrong. Now, should you be improving? Yes. Yes. Should you take steps in trying to do what is right? Yes. Should you grow in maturity? Yes. But are you going to completely stop? Hmm. But are you going to completely stop doing what is wrong? No, I don't think so. So focus less on wrongdoing and focus more on becoming better. Focus more on learning about God's rules. Stop dwelling upon the past and about the wrong that you have done. Think about the present. Think about what you can do now to become better. Myself, I have done so many things wrong, but I can't, from my understanding, I can't change what I have done. Now, I may be able to apologize and say sorry, but the deed or deeds have already been done. So let me move forward. Let me do what I can to do what is right. If I fail, let me not stop trying. Let me not give up, but let me continue to try to do what is right no matter how many times I go down. Pick yourself up. Move forward. Let me stop here. God bless you.